Go to uh, week two, you can see that um, we've got the lowest champion is 139, highest 150, and still got a few epics, got in a few mythicals now. And then if we just turn this off, we can look at where we are now. So we've got three legendaries on the account, which is, you know, like carrying us hard. And it makes a huge, huge difference. The more you evolve your heroes, the the faster you can progress in the game. And then we've got two, well, we've got quite a lot, but like sort of the main, we've got two mythicals and then um, Epic and Elite. So let's check out Anpu. He is a triple SS um, hero. He's a, a summoner and he is a hard carry for me. Like he is just doing work. So there was an event to get him. Um, I bought a few copies in the shops. And I think I might even pull a copy. So I had like three or four copies of him, maybe even five. And we're already at Legendary with him. And he's just doing work. So yeah, if we click on Exclusive, you unlock this at a certain stage and you start to get like weapons for them. We're getting huge stat boosts. And also it's going to enhance some of your um, abilities as well. So yeah, evolving your heroes, the faster you do this, the better you will do in the game. Let's check out the build. So we've got four pieces of hero and two pieces of Hawkeye. So this is giving us um, attack boosts and accuracy as well. So for the gloves, you want um, attack percentage. Ideally, we'd want attack percentage on the headpiece. I don't have that. So we went with HP just for survivability and then attack percentage on the boots as well. So we are rocking 69k attack. And then 43 accuracy could maybe bump up the accuracy just a little bit um, to make sure we land stuns. But at the moment, I've not seen him um, fail. So that's cool. Randall, I am absolutely loving this assassin. I mean, that animation is so cool. Uh, but yeah, he's an absolute beast. Um, absolute beast. Again, um, we've got his weapon progressing along nicely on that. And then he's actually got some legend, well, one piece legendary gear, and we've got two pieces hero and then four pieces uh, sun signet, which is giving us crit rate. Then we got crit damage on the gloves. I think I would actually prefer crit rate, but we're at 31% crit rate. So it's like one in three, so it's not terrible, um, but you'd probably get more damage the more you crit. Um, and then we've got attack percentage on the head and then HP on the boots. Again, I'd rather that be attack percentage, but sometimes you can only go with what you've got. So 66 point, sorry, 6.6 K attack, 31% uh, crit rate and then 53 crit damage. That's pretty huge. And who else do I really like on the account? Probably Leo and then Carmore. So Leo, obviously like such a sick champion and everyone should be able to grab a copy of him. So got a legendary weapon on him and we have got, well, uh, two pieces of Agorius because we need that HP and then a broken set. Would love to swap out this weapon. I don't think I've got a replacement at the moment. I don't, um, but yeah, really, really nice gear on Leo got HP on the gloves, damage reduction on the headpiece. Maybe I could actually swap that out now. No, we don't have a HP piece, so that's fine. Damage reduction is a great set, to, you know, great alternative option. And then we've, yeah, on the boots, we've got 37.5K as well. So 200K HP, and that's the only stat we need to really worry about, Leo. Yeah, I don't have his exclusive just yet, but cannot wait to try and max him out a little bit. And then Carmore. So people have told me this guy is trash. Um, I can see why he's not so hot for Sinsaro's Marsh as a um, AOE uh, energy champion. But he is really good for campaign. I love watching his fireballs bounce around and he's pretty easy to max out. 
So again, we've only got mythical gear on him. And we've just we've got triple hero on him as well. So crit rate on the gloves, attack on the chest. His boots are HP. I do need to sort of level them up. Again, we prefer these to be um, attack percentage. I don't know, do I have a better piece? Not really. I don't want to give him flat attack. I just feel like it's not really worth it. Even though it bump up the damage, I'd rather take the HP. Just, I'd choose survivability over like rubbish stats really. So 8k attack, 27% crit rate, and then very, very low crit damage. And again, he is like far, far ahead on the um on his weapon so that's nice progressing along there so next let's see where are we um commander so let's go into the base so the huge huge mistake that happened here was you get to a point where you can disassemble and it will just like it's not smart so when you evolve heroes or you get food you know, it will automatically just food all rares, the elites, and it will save like epics and mythicals. It fed all my epics. So I, this was empty. I had no commanders. So be very, very careful with that. Um, I'll just show you. Oh, I think I, I've locked everyone. So everything's locked. So we're safe. So that's the thing that I start doing is making sure I lock my commanders and don't sell them all. Um, but yeah, so we had no commanders at the beginning of the week, which sucked hard to be honest um but yeah so we only had um sorry epics when i see yellow i always think legendaries it's 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 confusing for me so yeah epics we only had epics we've now got a whole bunch of mythicals on the account and that again bumps up your account massively and what you can do with the um and they're all you know triple s's mythicals you can actually promote these so you want to hold on to copies of these so if you get two you can actually like promote them even further which is great so again that's just gonna bump up our stats and just just carry us so much harder in the game uh divine prototypes we're getting a few more um epics as well and yeah, it just seems to be like focus main on Dominator. Don't know why, it just seems to be the way it is. They're all going in there. Um, but yeah, not huge amount of progression there. And the guild is coming along nicely. Um, this is the highest ranked guild on my server. So we're doing guild hunt, daily challenge, horned lizard. I'm not sure... You can't see what we've done, but yeah, we are smashing it though. We are smashing it. So next on the list, go into border, check out Lost Valley. So Sinsaro's Marsh, we've gone from week one, we we're on stage five, then stage seven, and now we've jumped to 10. So that is a big, big jump. And when you get to stage 10 as well, this is when we start to unlock the mythical commanders, which, yeah, huge, huge for progression. And what I'd say is when you sort of can get to nine or ten, I would buy some stamina, sink it into Sansaro's Marsh for maybe two or three days just to get a whole bunch of commanders because it does make a huge, huge difference. Then Disa's Cave, we've gone from six to eight to ten and... I've I make I like to focus mostly on Disa's cave because this is where we're getting legendary gear and gear is probably gonna make the biggest um will make the most difference to your account. Um so yeah, Disa Cave is what I would focus on the most. The Terror Dome. So we struggled on week one and we're only at stage three. Then we got to stage six and now we're on level nine. So making quite a lot of progression, but I feel like the prototypes are good, but it's not the one that's going to make the biggest difference. I'd probably go Disa's Cave, Sinsara's Marsh, then Terra Dome. It's a little, I guess it's a little bit of a balancing act though. Now that I've got loads of commanders from Sinsara's Marsh, I would focus a little bit more on the Terra Dome 
because I do need to build up my prototypes just a little bit and then I'm just focusing on gear from Deesa's cave. So next up is the soul mine. So there's been a huge jump here. So week one, 148, week two, 181, 250. That is crazy. That is just, that is probably the, the biggest area that I've progressed in. Ancient altar, we've unlocked this and we were on normal. We've now unlocked hard. And when you unlock hard, just focus on hard. You're going to get way more rewards for doing that. So definitely focus on that. And then last but not least, Arena. So Arena, we were at 41. We're now 21 for regular Arena. And that's going to just give us, again, more boosts, like more rewards. Um, Diamond 3 for Galactic Arena. So we've only progressed to Diamond 2. It is starting to get difficult now. I'm coming up against way harder accounts. And then for Hell Arena, we've progressed, well, to Junior Fighter. Um, so it's not massive. I feel quite confident in against the teams we're going up against. So um, Big D, uh, Pando, and, well, yeah, I'm going to struggle against those guys. Oops, as well. I won't be able to be, I should be able to be Toy Boy and everyone else should be pretty easy for me. But those are the three that I'm going to struggle with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to the end of the week to fight these guys. Um, if I fight them now, I will probably lose. But hopefully, if they don't change their defense and I've gotten stronger, I should be able to beat them. So we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and seeing how we are doing with progression and learn from my mistakes. Um, you know, if I was to play this game again, I would massively do things differently. Uh, actually, going back to uh, Sinsara's, not Sinsara's Marsh, the Lost Valleys, um, I would focus on buying um, stamina. Buy stamina. So at probably, I'd say, I would probably focus on Deesa's Cave again just to get that gear because that will help you progress massively. So when I would get to stage six, I would start to buy stamina for Deesa's Cave, put a load of stamina into it and just farm up that gear because that is going to carry you hard. And yeah, and then as we start to unlock the others, make sure you're buying stamina every single day because uh, it's just going to, yeah, it's just going to speed things up. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.